We have embarked on area patrol from Abuja to Kaduna. We have patrolled along the rail line. We have patrolled along the popular and ever busy Abuja Kaduna Expressway. In fact, we have covered the corridor to actually assess the deployment of our police personnel, the military, and other security forces that are actually working and providing security for commuters and road users along the corridor and to fortify the rail line so that we don't have any attack on the train again. We are here on behalf of the Inspector General of Police to brief you, brief the whole world about our activities to make sure we be cute to Nigerians, perfect security arrangement to protect our lives and property as expected of us. Today I am pleased to highlight the significant achievement in our crime fighting and divorce with a particular focus on the Abuja Kaduna Expressway corridor and communities in Kaduna State spanning from January 2024 to date. Notably, I would like to draw attention to a strategic initiative implemented along the Abuja Kaduna Expressway, which has significantly contributed to our successes. Under the directive of the Inspector General of Police, IGP Ulukayode Adi Ulue a helicopter has been deployed to serve as an escort to train using the route, providing area support for the ground troops from the armed forces, the police, and other security agencies deployed along the corridor, as well as a proactive measure to prevent attacks and act as a first responder in the event of any untoward incidents. This proactive measure has proven instrumental in enhancing security along the corridor, ultimately safeguarding the lives and property of commuters and residents of the adjoining communities along the route. During this period, our proactive measures and relentless pursuit of criminal elements have resulted in remarkable outcomes, including the arrest of 81 harm robbery suspects, 40 kidnapped suspects, suspects, 73 murder stroke homicide suspects, 36 rape suspects, 22 suspects involved in court-related crimes, and 28 suspects engaged in other criminal activities. Similarly, we have successfully recovered 16 firearms of various types, along with 226 ammunition of diverse calibers. Additionally, our operations have led to the retrieval of 28 stolen vehicles, over 200 harmful weapons, and 600 bags of fertilizer stolen from various farmers. A total of 3,350,000 naira only, previously paid as ransom to kidnappers, has been successfully recovered, while our swift our coordinated efforts have resulted in the safe rescue of 158 kidnapped victims, all of whom have been reunited with their families on hand. Today I'm going to showcase some of the achievements recorded by this command under the period, the period under review. The first case I have is the arrest of one Monday leader of kidnap syndicate. Where is that Monday? Monday? Where is Monday still? So it doesn't sit here now, I'm going to my head. You will recollect that on 12th January 2024, police operative attached to anti-kidnapping unit of Cardona State Criminal Investigation Department CID based on credible information swift in and, ar and arrested one Ibrahim Abdullah, a.k.a. Monday, 
at Abuja Kaduna Road, flyover by Rido Junction. The suspect confirms to being the leader of a kidnapped syndicate terrorizing Kaduna Abuja Highway, ranked among other criminals like Dogo Gide and Belo Toji, the popular Belo Toji. He had participated in various kidnapping incidents, including the kidnapping incident at Greenfield University, and he partook in almost all the kidnappings along the Abuja Kaduna Expressway. And particularly the attack, the popular attack on the train stations, he was involved in that particular attack on the train. That during that time, he ran away, but we promised Nigerians that we're going to get them one after the other. Like I always say, you can only run, you cannot hide. Whatever you do today, we will surely get you. It can take some time, but we will get you. Here he is today, Monday is here today. He is one of those guys that have been terrorizing Nigerians along that corridor. You agree with me that you've been seeing deployment of the military and the police? along Abuja Kaduna Expressway and along the rail line. Our efforts are paying off. With him, we are going to get others who are involved in this heinous act of attacking our facilities, particularly the train, and kidnapping innocent Nigerians along Abuja Kaduna Expressway. Uh, I don't know your style here, but normally is to confirm to you is the one and to tell us why is there and possibly why is it there. Because for people who are so heartless to have attacked the train, to be on that route, ever be zero like that, kidnapping innocent Nigerians. What led him to that? Parade these suspects, the one Nigerians to know that fine, the security system is working in the country, and to serve as deterrent to others who may want to venture into a dirty or dirty businesses like this they are into. On February 29, 2024, vigilant operatives of the Kaduna Command Monitoring Unit conducted a well-coordinated operation at the residence of a suspected kidnapper, one Adamu Abraham, in Ganga Uku village, Maraban Jos, which resulted in the apprehension of the suspects and recovery of crucial exhibits, including one fabricated cartridge revolver rifle, one fabricated pistol, two ding guns, six life cartridges, one discharge GP RG ammunition, seven discharge cartridges, two SIM cards, two techno handsets, and one blood stain cutlass. It was recovered. It was revealed during investigation that 35 year old Adamo Abdulwahab, in connivance with other suspects who are currently at large, had kidnapped one Samaila Abdullahi age 40, of KK Kingdom, Maraba and Joss, on February 13, 2024, and forcefully taking him to an unknown destination. And of course, the police are trying their best possible to get other suspects involved in this heinous act, but I think we have Adamu Abduhab here. Can it, where is it? Can it just stand there and see if that is continue to intervene here? But he's one of the deadly kidnappers. Not only kidnapping, most of them, when they kidnap, they still go ahead to kill their victims after they have received the ransom. We see trying to understand the rationale behind the typology of kidnapping in Nigeria in these days. When you pay ransom, family pay ransom, kidnappers, they are so heartless. They still go ahead to kill the victim. In fact, another typology is that they kill the victim, they get the ransom, they still negotiate for the release of the dead victim. To me, I don't think it's just mere kidnapping again. Because by definition, kidnapping is supposed to be a business. You kidnap somebody, you get ransom, and you release the suspect or the victim having received uh, your, your ransom. But now, the way kidnappers operate, to us, we want to regard them as terrorists. They're not just kidnappers again. Whoever that is fully harmed to the teeth, terrorizing Nigerians, killing Nigerians, causing pains 
sorrows, agonies to innocent Nigerians. That person is regarded and should be seen as a terrorist, not just mere a kidnapper. In most cases, you can still regard them as violent extremists who have strange ideologies and causing pain to us in this country. Most of the things they do are strange to our culture, are strange to our tradition, are strange to our system as Nigerians. We don't know where they have got their own ideologies from. And that is why the federal government in most cases have regarded them as terrorists. And some of us, and we in security circle, we have seen many of them based on their acts, their mentality, and psyche or psychology of the crimes they commit. We prefer to refer to them as terrorists or violent extremists, not just mere kidnappers, the way we say them. And it is important for us to note that from security circle, all of us we are seeking support from Nigerians to see it as a civil responsibility to support security agencies. Don't see it as if it's their job to do. All of us, by virtue of the provisions of the law, the provisions of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as a Nigerian, you have a role to play to make sure we have a perfect security system in this country. We, on uniform, we are paid agents because we receive salaries. But all Nigerians, too, are agents of security. Don't leave it for us alone to do. You have many roles to play. The third case is the case of arrest of suspects for criminal conspiracy and illegal possession of operated firearms. On, 17, on 7th of April 2024, police operative attired to the Force Intelligence Department Special Tactical Squad in Abuja, in collaboration with Operation Yaki operatives, the Kaduna command arrested one Abubakar Umar, aged 20 years. Please mark the age or ages of some of the suspects we are showcasing today. They are very young Nigerians, and some of them, I wouldn't know why they have decided to join bad gangs. Because when you ask them questions, some of them have intelligence, they are brilliant enough to be in school or to do one or two businesses. So when you interrogate them, you're going to focus more on why they have decided to venture into criminal activities. He is from Bagega village via Anka local government of Samvara state and his possession of 460 rands of AK-47 ammunition concealed inside a stabilizer box at Zaria city, Kaduna with a mission to deliver it to one Dr. Dan Sadi of Bagega for onward transfer to a notorious bandit known as Bandan, who is expected to receive the ammunition. The suspects are being rounded up and will prosecute them accordingly. If you notice the achievement of the police recently, we are clamping down on those who fabricate illegal firearms and those who do gun running. If these bad elements in their camps don't have access to arms and ammunition, they are nobody. You as a Nigerian can tackle such a person. A blow can pull him down because they don't have that strength. But rely on the weapons they have to carry out these dastardly hacks. So we are clamping down, we are beaming our truck lights on some of these agents who fabricate who procure, who transport arms and ammunition to them in their various camps. And this is one of them. Imagine where 60 rounds of AK-47 ammunition land. You know, the owner of those camps are fortified. And they are good enough to use the ammunition to carry out whatever they want to do. 60 rounds may take them two years to even spend. Because in most cases, they don't even fire. Once a commuter a road user sees them in numbers with their guns, you will surrender yourself, they don't need to fire. So recovery of 60 ammunition of this caliber goes a long way. This particular case, to deliver 60 ammunition of AK-47 rifle to them in the camp, recovery goes a long way to break the jinx of that particular syndicate. These were doing across the country. You will recall that over time, I've been parading suspects who are fabricating arms. And they are so intelligent, 
They are so smart that they produce, they fabricate fine and attractive arms and ammunition locally here. So we are thinking to see how we're going to work on some of those ones. But I will discuss with the National Assembly to see how we can rebuild our law to cater for people like this who are intelligent, who are brilliant and nobody use their knowledge in a wrong direction. So we are, we are working on them and we'll continue to get all of them. The next case is arrest of suspected bandits with gun runner and recovery of VK47 rest. Gun running is coming up again. Gun runners don't actually participate in any kidnapping or banditry. They are only the supply. I want you to call supply to decimate activities of these elements. So we focus more on clamping down on gun runners, fabricators, and suppliers who are giving these people morale, I call it morale, to carry out their criminal activities. On 12 February 2024, suspected bandits from gun runner at Damu Shribu. Is Adamu Shribu around? Is he here in court? I don't tell you. The case is in court as well. Adamu Shribu from the Mali village under Jerry local government of Kaduna State was arrested following reliable information available to the police on involvement in criminal activities within the state. They recovered AK-47 rifle from him. Most of these rifles, one of these arms, we recover. We send them, we, we profile them. We actually profile these arms, we turn them back to the original owners. The situation where we cannot actually trace the original owner, we hand them over to the uh, National Nigeria National Center for Control of Small Arms and Light Weapons at the office of the NSC, who will do due diligence in tracing the origin of those firearms. So what we do is most cases we have the bridge number of these, the bridge number of these rifles. We reconcile our records. We share with other the military and other security agencies who use that type of particular weapon to actually know the source of these weapons. In most cases, you know that they kill our men. They kill security operatives to take over their rifles. So we always want to recover, to, to, to recover and trace back to the origin of some of these weapons. But where we cannot do the center at the office of the NSA, we always do due diligence to make sure we get to the root and the source of these weapons. I have a case here that's also interesting, arrest of suspected kidnapper. Do I have uh, Awa Ayuba here? Yeah. All of them are in 20s, 27 year old. On 27th April 2024, nearly a week ago, some vigilant members arrested and brought to the station one Awa Ayuba 827. A resident of Kubacha town suspected of being a kidnapper. After thorough investigation, the suspect confessed to being a member of kidnapping gang and has participated in several kidnappings in Kubacha, Jere, Katari Aziz, where many victims were kidnapped. Like I told you, in most cases, most of these are kidnapped, victims die in their camps. We have Hawa Ayuba here, 27 year old. You take note of the efforts being put in place by vigilant members, other security agencies, which means collaboration works in Kaduna Command. They work together and they give kudos to those who have worked. You notice that the command is not only claiming glory of these achievements. They mention those who have been involved in various operations to arrest some of these suspects. And we encourage our officers across the country to always do the same. If it's an individual that has assisted you to arrest the suspect, let it be known. And let us commend such an individual so that they can actually do more. And engineers will be able to know that individuals can actually effect arrest and hand over to the police or other security agencies around them. This is him, you are going to interrogate him at your own time later. But you can take note that these areas where it has operated before are still along Abuja Kaduna Expressway and along that particular corridor. Kubacha, 
Nigeria, Qatari, Aziz, in Kaduna State.